Hey guys, Sakshumi and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I made a video, just got busy and all the stuff couldn't really get a video out. So this video is actually the most requested video. I did a poll on Instagram about for three weeks. I asked you guys what about if you have any questions, whether it's tech related or something else, and if there's any specific video you would like me to make. And the most question that I got was how do you like you can actually import like use iTunes and get music in your phone without actually buying it if you don't want to buy music from Apple. But you cannot do that rent on so you have to follow the same set of ringtones that Apple gives. So then I was like, there's a way around it, not everyone knows about it, so why not just make a video about it? So that's what I will be covering in this video. There's no like special app you need to get, you will need to have GarageBand. Uh, it's free, it comes with almost all the phones, iPads and everything. In, in case you deleted it, I would say just download it for the specific reason, just for putting the ringtones and then you can delete the app afterwards, you don't have to keep it on. And other than that, all you need is music or the music file that you want as a ringtone. So once that, once you have those two, we can get started. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using my iPad to show you how to do this, uh, get your own ringtones in your phone. Uh, you can use your phone, anything you want. It's just the only reason I'm using iPad is just to make it easier for you to understand what I'm doing. So the first thing I was doing was getting the music that you want as a ringtone. So what I, what you have to do is put the music in the files app. You can use iCloud Drive for that. If you have Mac, you can just drag it onto iCloud Drive or MP3 file and it will sync up with your phones or iPads and you will have that. I made a photo called Music Ringtones for this video and put in the Bleaver music in there uh, by Imagine Dragons. The only reason I'm putting this music is I actually have a copyright for this music so YouTube doesn't really put a strike on me. Else you can put any music because you won't really be uploading it, you won't really have that problem. So once you have the music you want, so it's a normal mp3 music I can play and you can hear. It's just the normal music. So once you have that, what you want to do is you want to open GarageBand. So once you are in GarageBand, um, it should be blank, that should be the interface you will get. Um, if you use GarageBand, you will have your songs and stuff like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the plus icon on the top right corner. Uh, it, we will get a list of instruments to use. Uh, what I like to use, I would just like to use drummer. And the only reason why I use drummer is just it gives a, light, a nice list view. Or you can put your ringtones in and it's easier to export than using other instruments. So pick your instrument that you want. It does not matter at all which instrument you're picking. So I'm going to pick drummer. And uh, whichever instrument you pick, it will give you the interface for that instrument. So now what we are going to do is we are not going to mess up with any of that and we are going to click on the break icon on the top left corner. It's like three layers so you click on that icon and you will see the instruments goes away and gives you a layer, layer layout. So now we are going to click on the loop icon which is the third icon from the right top corner. So it's right next to the wrench so you click on that loop icon and it will say uh, depending on which tab is open usually it's going to be the Apple loops if it's your first time you're doing it. And these are all the um, preset sounds Apple gives if you're composing music. What we are going to do is we're going to go in files and click on browse items from, from, the, from the files app. Now uh, it just shows me recent because uh, I just imported this music. If you don't see this, you just click on the browse from the bottom right corner, pick your music and wait for a few seconds. It's going to import the music into the library. So now once we have that music, we have to hold it and drag it onto the timeline. So now you can see it just so it shows it's a vocal. And what we can now do is whatever instrument you have, so which will be the top layer, you click on the layer once to highlight it, click it once again and then click on delete. So now as we don't really need that layer, we can even delete the instrument by clicking on the instrument, the icon and pressing delete. So now if you just press, press the space bar or the play from the top you can hear, it's the actual song which is in the layer in GarageBand. So now you don't really have to keep the whole song, you can cut it down or trim it the way you like it. I'm just going to like chop it down a bit just to make it quick, this video quicker. So once that's here, we are going to click on my songs and save this file first of all. So that my song too is my ringtone stuff and it's saved. So now once it's saved, what we're going to do is we're going to hold it and now we'll get that top bar with all the options and we're going to click on share. So now once you click on share, you get options songs, ringtone, or project and we're going to click on ringtone. And now we can name the ringtone, I'm just going to call it Believer. Yep, Believer and click on export. And let it export the ringtone, say exporting as ringtone. So here's where the part comes in. If you have a really long song, it might take a bit longer, short, it might take a few seconds. Then it says our uh, ringtone export successfully. And now we can click use, a, use sound as standard ringtone, standard text tone, or assigned to a contact. 
and th this is pretty much where you can actually go to settings and assign it if you want a ringtone for a specific person you can just press assign to contact and pick the pick the contact from the contact list and the next time when that person calls you it's going to play that ringtone and you can separate all the ringtones with different people and or you can just say it's a set ringtone so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to press any of these i'm going to show it to you so i'm actually going to go in settings and uh, if i go in sound you can see it shows right now it's ringtone which is open which is the default ringtone you get with apple so now once i go in you can see on the top right on the top with the bar it says believer that was the ringtone that i just exported with my name uh, if you put something else as your name of the ringtone it will show that you can see there's no other option here that you can actually import or put a music file in like even if you go in classic or anything it doesn't really let you import your own so this is the only way you can actually put your custom ringtones you will need the GarageBand app as it exports the file as a system tone instead of just a music file so now I can click on Believer and it will make that the ringtone. So as you can see now if someone calls me, it's a general ringtone, that's why it's going to play. Uh, you can see it's really short when I click on it. And that's the only reason, the only reason for that is because I trimmed my whole music. So if you have, you keep the whole thing like 2 to 3 minutes song, it will play it for that long. Now I do want to point out something, so in GarageBand, when, when we were doing this, there was an option, so if I click on the loop again, and I can click on music and import the songs from a music app. The only reason I don't, I don't suggest this is because it's really hard to actually import music into your phone using iTunes. Uh, sometimes it just works, sometimes it doesn't work, so I avoid it because if you're putting a ringtone or something, you need to change it and you make, want to make quick ringtones, it's really hard to actually have music in a music app and then using that. However, if you have a music that you want to use that's already on your music app, go ahead, you can use this instead of actually putting into the files app and all that stuff. So you don't really have to do that. Then all you have to do is go in GarageBand, uh, create a project, you can use drums or something else. Uh, click on the loop icon, music, pick your music and delete the older layer. Once you're done that, go to my songs, so on your general library. And then just hold on it to get the bar on the top and click on share. And again, you get the option where you want to put in a song, ringtone or project. So that's pretty much it how to put your own ringtones and stuff on your phone or iPad or any pretty much any iOS device. Uh, you can also do this on your Mac. It's a pretty much the same process. You will still need to use GarageBand. Uh, for Mac, it only works if you are using FaceTime, FaceTime Audio or you have option for getting your phone calls on your Mac. So if you want, you're want, you interested in something like that, uh, you still, it's the exact same process. You need to use GarageBand. Now once you have done that, you can actually delete GarageBand or keep it depending on whatever you like. So if this video helped you in any way, make sure to press the like button. If it didn't, uh, you can press a dislike or you can leave a comment or contact directly. I will help you set this whole thing up. Uh, other than that, make sure to press the subscribe button, hit the bell icon that we get notified. YouTube doesn't really notify you if you don't press the bell icon. Share this video if you think someone else could also, like this might help someone else. And once again, I am doing a giveaway, so make sure to check out my Twitter or Instagram, it's at section5j for all the information and subscribe. You know what the whole thing is.